In this video, we're going to be using the updated micro bit um, JavaScript blocks editor to create um, a step counter. Um, almost like the, the Fitbit, we're going to use the accelerometer that's on the micro bit itself to detect movement. And each time we detect a movement, we're going to increase a variable called steps by one. So the first thing we need to do is create our variable, our area to store the data. And in this case, that data will be the number of steps. So in order to set up a variable, I'm just going to drag in this change item by one. And I'm going to click on the arrow and I'm going to rename the variable and I will call it steps. And when I click OK, the steps variable is now created. Now what I want to do is when the micro bit starts up, I, would, I want to be able to set the variable to zero so that that's our first value. So I'm going to use the on start block and in there I'm going to put set item to zero and of course I want to change item to steps which is now there because we've created that variable. So now when the micro bit starts up the steps variable is created and it's given a value of zero. Now I'm going to use this change steps by one. What will happen is the input that we want to change steps with is a shake input. So I'm going to use this accelerometer input here and I'm going to put the change steps by one into that block. So now whenever the micro bit shakes, the step variable will go up by one. But the problem that we have here is that although the variable is changing, it's utterly pointless because we've got no way to display it to the user. One way that we can display this message to the user is using the button. So I'm going to go back to input and I'm going to drag in this block here on button A pressed. Whenever I use this arrow, I can select either A, B or A and B together. So I'm going to stick to A. So this means that whenever I click the button A, whatever is inside of here will run. I'm going to go to basic and I'm going to drag in the show number block. It's important for this project that you use show number and not show string. Because if I take my variable steps and if I put it into the show string, you will see that this, if I pop it into here, will give me an error. You can see this warning triangle come up. The reason for that is because steps contains a number and not a string. So this would cause an error that means the code would not run effectively. I'm going to pop the show number in there. I'm going to drag in my steps variable. And now, now that micro bit is reset, I'm going to shake three times. And as you can see, whenever I press button A, it shows me the number of steps that I've taken. Now, what about if we get to the end of the day and we'd like to reset our micro bit? Um, I'm going to use the buttons once again. Now, on first glimpse, you might think that I would choose button B as the next logical step and say that whenever that is pressed, you want to reset the micro bit. If you think, though, that it's around your neck or if it's in your pocket or wherever it may be, it'd be quite easy to press B and lose your progress. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use button A and B together simply because it's less likely that those buttons will be pressed by accident. What I'm going to use is the variable steps once again, and I'm going to set that back to zero. So now, whenever I shake my micro bit, one, two, three shakes, and I press button A, you can see that that's the button that comes up. Now when I press button B, and I press A again to show steps, sorry, I mean A and B together, and now I press A, you can see that steps has gone back to zero.